name is Mark Giantonio. I'm the president here of Resorts Casino. And I'm so happy to be joined by our great mayor here, uh, Mark, Mr. Mayor Marty Small, who today is going to open the beach. It's an annual tradition right here in front of Resorts. And we could not be more proud to be here today. Today, uh, you can look at it like a glimmer of hope for all of us. It's been very difficult, nine weeks. And uh, there's a lot of things that you know we have to still overcome. The first and foremost is the safety of our employees and our customers when we welcome them back. And I can assure you that Resorts is going to be ready to do that. We're working with the industry to put protocols in place to make our casinos the safest in the nation. And that, you can rest assured, is going to take place when we're uh, given the directive by the governor to open up. So uh, I'm just really, really proud to be here with Mayor, uh, the mayor. And uh, I want to congratulate him on a great victory, sir. And um, also want to say to you, uh, collectively, I think we're going to do a lot of great things uh, over the next few years. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Chief Downey. He wants to say a few words. Chief? Hi, welcome to everyone. Uh, obviously, we're opening the beaches under some very strange uh, circumstances. Uh, we're going to do our best to uh, properly mark and uh, encourage social distancing. And hopefully, as the summer rolls on, we're going to roll right into the summers of, of the past. Thank you. Okay, yeah, again, uh, thank you everyone for coming out today. Uh, this is, is another historic day in Atlantic City. We are, Atlantic City has always been a town of first. So I just want to let everyone know, to Atlantic City uh, has always been open, and we're excited for this summer. Chief Downey and, and, and Mayor Small with his administration have prepared us with uh, working with the Office of Emergency Management, ensuring that, that our boardwalk and beach is prepared. Uh, to handle the crowds and to do it in a safe and efficient manner. So I want to thank everybody again for coming and let's have a great summer. All right, uh, good afternoon everyone. And it's a great day here in the city of Atlantic City. Can we say great day? Can we say great day? Thank you, nice classroom participation. But um, as they stated, um, normally this is the time where we'll be really gearing up uh, for our season. But keeping the, um, the expectations manageable, this is not the season as we know it. This is the new norm for the foreseeable future. But let me tell you about the city of Atlantic City. We're always bouncing back. We're the ultimate comeback story. We always reinvent ourselves. And this time is going to be no different. Our economy will bounce back. And that's why, under my leadership, we kept the beach and boardwalk open for our residents to get some mental and physical exercise. While everyone else closed for whatever reason, we stay open because I had the faith and belief in our hard work and staff. I would like to thank uh, Fire Chief Scott Evans, who is our Emergency Management Chief. I would like to thank our resorts, as well as Janet from Chester Flowers, who has done a great job. Um, I would like to thank my staff and everyone assembled here. Atlantic City is officially open, but look. We gotta be safe, we gotta be conscious, and we gotta be guided by data and the subject matter experts' opinion. That's why today, this morning at 10 a.m., we announced executive order number two that effective next Friday, all online marketplace, Airbnb, Verbo, etc., will be open for business here in the city of Atlantic City and including all hotels. Not casino hotels, but this was a small step in getting our people back to work, but we must keep them safe. It's all about the employees being safe. And my licensing inspection director, Adele Finch, and his staff and everyone else, the emergency management, will go around to each and every property and educate them on the guidelines. And we want to make sure that everyone is operating I mean, legally, because if you are operating illegally and you get caught, you will be forbidden for doing business here in Atlantic City. This also coincides with our expanded testing program. The city of Atlantic City has extended it a month for all Atlantic City employees and emergency management personnel three days a week at the showboat parking lot and one day a week now at Beta Fail. And now everyone can be tested. No symptoms needed, no prescription needed. This will give us true indication of our numbers and, and get this economy back. And I look forward to it. And on behalf of the great city of Atlantic City, we wish each and every one of you a happy, safe Memorial Day weekend. Thank you.